Hi, good morning everyone from the Briar School. Like I said yesterday, I would start to show you how we're going to take our seedlings and plant them on into bigger pots so as they grow into proper plants. This is the one I did earlier. This is our pumpkin seedling from yesterday. So it's now sat in its own pot with compost. Okay, so it's gone from being in the tray that I showed you yesterday. Okay, to now being in a pot. Okay, so as all the pupils in key stage four know, the first thing we do is put on our gloves when we do our gardening. Okay, now if you wanted to plant your own seeds at home, that's absolutely fine. You haven't got to have pots like this. What I've done, I've taken a kitchen roll tube and I've cut it in half. Now lots of people use these, so you can have them at different heights as well. So you could have a tall one, or you could have a shorter one. This one you would probably use to grow carrots. This one you could use to grow radishes. What you can do is when you've planted your seeds into the soil, you can put that, your little plant pot, into a plastic tub and then you can put some more in, okay? And the soil won't fall out. The soil will stay in the bottom of the plastic tub and then you can water them all together, okay? So in this one, this morning, I've put some radishes. So we can do the same with this one. Let's move the pumpkins out of the way and let's pop Groot back on the table who's helping me at the moment. So, with your gloves on, get some compost, fill your kitchen roll tube with the soil, like that. Okay. Then, you can get your seeds Sprinkle a few in and put some soil compost on the top. Okay, and along with the other one, oops, so windy today, you can pop that into your tray along with the other one and they can sit nicely side by side and you can water them together and they will grow in there. So you don't have to have pots like this at home. Okay, so as you can see there's a couple of pumpkins being potted up here so I'm going to show you how to do another one. Okay, so we've got pots from school. I'm going to get with my gloves on, get the compost into the pot. Press the compost down, the soil down, and the pupils in key stage four will know what this is. This is a dibber, and it makes a nice big hole ready for you to put your seedling into. Okay, so I'm now, this is a kind of dibber, but it lifts the plant out because it's got the two points there and it gently lifts your seedling out of the soil without damaging the root. So let's take it, let's have a go. Here we go, it's a bit windy. So I'm going to lift the next pumpkin out of the soil. See if you can see the root coming. Here it comes. Look at that. That's got a very big root on it. I think we might need to make a little bit of a bigger hole there. We'll knock some of the soil off, so you can see, that's a beautiful pumpkin, and there are the roots. Okay, so the roots need to go into the soil. Okay, I'm just pushing that down gently, very gently, okay. And this was the seed case. 
that was the seed that we originally planted and from that seed came the pumpkin seedling okay so I'm now going to top that up around the pumpkin seedling now we have a harvest festival in September at school and we all take our food up in boxes to the front in assembly and I know key stage four always send up some of their vegetables that they've grown so hopefully we'll be able to send our pumpkins up so there we go we've now got three pumpkins potted on ready to hopefully grow some pumpkins stay safe take care i'll see you soon bye for now